Where are the real scriptural locations? What you are about to see is an amalgamation and culmination of years worth of research when it comes to some of the real scriptural locations and things that have been hidden from us for so long, for centuries, if not thousands of years. And as you're watching, I ask that you watch with an open mind and everything that you've once learned or everything that you thought you knew, I just ask that you continue to open your mind to the new ideas and new possibilities that indeed we have been deceived on a grand scale. And as a disclaimer, do not believe a word I say or rather what anyone says at face value, but rather as always do the research on your own and come to your own conclusions and ask questions. Because when you ask questions, that is where you will find some real serious answers. Now, of course, we do not have it all a thousand percent figured out. However, as we continue to grow and as we continue to learn more things and see new things and also unlearn the lies, we know that we're getting closer and closer to the truth. And remember this, the truth is what will make us free. And like someone told me before, we are to search the ancient things, we are to search the ancient maps, search ancient books, because when we search, it's like seeking for treasure, and you will be amazed and shocked at some of the things that you find, as I'm going to be sharing with you today. And in this video, I'm actually not going to even be really speaking, but rather, I'm going to be letting the maps and the ancient maps all the way as early as the 1400s speak for themselves. In this video, you will see the map of Jerusalem on ancient maps that's found in 16 different maps along with other scriptural regions such as Mount Zion, Ophir, and the real Gibeon, and etc. But without further ado, here is the video.
heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, I, I search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing.
above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, I, I search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing.
above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, I, I search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing.
heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, I, I search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings.
above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, I, I search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings.
And this has been the video today. I pray that the video has been helpful unto you and unto everyone who's watching. And please remember this also, that the scriptures is a history book about one group of people. However, it's also a geography book. And when we look at it from that way, and when we look at it from that light, we start to see that there is still so much to learn. We still have lots to learn, and this is only the beginning. And if you would like me to do another video on this topic, covering even more maps and locations, please let me know in the comment box below. But you might be wondering, well, why would they put the truth in front of the maps? Why would they even do that to begin with? Well, this is just a hunch from me, but I personally think it was because they already knew their own maps. They had their maps and they did not share them or disclose them with the public at first. So they thought that they wouldn't get out at first. And plus, what do they do? They put the truth right in front of us in books, on TV. They always put it right in front of us. They hid it in the books and in the maps because they figured that we would not read them, but they obviously do not know who our creator Yahuwah is. And if you're wondering why I'm using the name Yahuwah for the Father and Yahusha for the Son, you can learn more in the video that is linked in the description box below. Of course, I take no credit for any of the content that you see. All esteem goes to our Abba, our Father Yahuwah, through our Messiah Yahusha and the Ruk Akadush, or commonly known as the Made Apart Spirit. And as always, remember this, the truth is what will make you free. Shalom as always.